This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Monday, March 24th. I'm James Spann. Got a midweek freeze coming up, so get ready for some cold weather for the next few days. Now, let's go in there and take a look at the Skycam shots around the network today. High cirrus clouds over Gadsden. That's a Skycam in Etowah County. Low levels are very dry. Those are not rain-producing clouds. Very similar sky from Huntsville up in Madison County. Those clouds up at about 25,000 feet. Clouds a little lower on the Gulf Coast. It's our Gulf Shore sky cam. It's cloudy and breezy and cool. They're around 60 degrees there uh, on the Gulf Coast. They might see a shower in a few spots, but uh, mostly dry conditions tomorrow and Wednesday, but very chilly for all the spring break folks that are there. Up this way, a cool day. Only 50s up in the Tennessee Valley. Coleman at 55. Readings around 60 along Interstate 20. Tomorrow will be even colder and a strong north wind will increase across the state to make it feel even colder. Around the nation, pretty cold around the Great Lakes. And again, that will be pulled south as a very strong storm deepens off the Atlantic coast tomorrow and moves northeast. Up on the watch warning map, uh, things are pretty quiet around the nation. Really, the big headline is going to be up around Cape Cod. Uh, southeastern Massachusetts, where that uh, nor'easter could produce hurricane force winds and blizzard conditions around Nantucket and Martha's Vineyard. Uh, down this way, the Weather Service has a freeze warning over in Georgia for basically uh, the, the northern and central part of that state. And uh, we will have one here as well that just has not been issued yet. It's going to be for uh, uh, tomorrow night into Wednesday morning. That's when lows should be in the 20s. Classic late season freeze. We always have them here. Here's the rain for the next five days. This is suggesting rain amounts of about three quarters of an inch, and the bulk of that would be during the day on Friday. Let's take a look. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 1 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And this is at 500 millibars. You can see how troughing is uh, really increasing over the east, and the winds are really going to pick up. Uh, the pressure gradient tightens up. We have a deepening surface low uh, well to the east of Charleston. We have a 1030 millibar high over Wichita. Strong north winds averaging 15 to 25 miles an hour. Uh, the sky mostly sunny, but again, it's going to be blustery and cold with a high only in the middle 50s. And up in the Tennessee Valley around Huntsville, the Shoals, Athens, they could stay in the 40s all day. This is Wednesday, and the surface high is right on top of us. So Wednesday morning is going to be very cold. And again, uh, you can see evidence of temperatures between 25 and 32 in most spots. Uh, we think the colder pockets up in northeast Alabama could see low 20s at daybreak Wednesday. So that's the uh, big headline for the growers is the late season freeze early Wednesday. And this is the other big headline, uh, very, very intense bomb, if you will, off the uh, upper Atlantic coast. 951 millibars. And again, that could bring winds of almost hurricane force to Cape Cod, where they've got a blizzard watch. Uh, thankfully, the worst of that thing will stay offshore. But Wednesday for us will be sunny and cool with a high again in the 50s, but the wind will not be bad at all. We'll be right on top of the high, so uh, the wind should be fairly calm. Thursday, winds pick up out of the south. That means we start to warm up, the high going back in the 60s. Got a uh, deepening surface low between Chicago and Minneapolis-St. Paul. 994 millibars with a trailing front. And then Friday morning at 7 o'clock, the front comes in with a band of showers and storms. The uh, primary surface low is in Ontario, up in Canada, so way, way north of here. And severe weather just not expected with that. Uh, this is the instability Friday morning at 7 o'clock local time. There basically is none. And the low-level jet, uh, the winds are basically somewhat calm. So, again, uh, with this kind of look, with that uh, batch of showers and storms, no severe weather and probably not much maybe in the way of thunder. Now, this is Saturday as we start the weekend. A secondary low forms uh, over West Virginia. And, again, uh, just maybe the, the moisture lingers into part of the day Saturday uh, with maybe a risk of a lingering a shower or some light rain Saturday morning. But dry air begins to arrive Saturday afternoon. And Sunday should be a beautiful day. And the weekend, very mild. Uh, no cold air involved here. Highs up in the 70s. Uh, we should see mid-70s both days. In fact, the GFS is printing a high of 77 on Sunday. This is Monday of next week. We stay mild and dry. A little moisture increasing off to the west, but again, no evidence of rain here. This is April 3rd. Deep surface low. That is east of Detroit with a trailing front. 
That would bring a batch of showers and storms. But again, that doesn't exactly look like a severe weather look with the surface low so far north. And the end of the forecast, April 9th, pretty good short wave over the Great Lakes. Uh, and again, maybe some showers approaching, but still no sign of any big severe weather problems here for the next 15 days. And by golly, that's a good thing. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream of the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.